Hello and welcome to my video on painting stormtroopers is secretly easy. Now this video is the extremely extremely compressed version. We are starting with the miniature already ready to go at the gloss stage. So we'll be skipping all the zenithal painting, the detailing of the gun and the gloves. We're just jumping into the gloss coat and the panel lining and from there the finished product. So this is the extremely short version. If you want to watch the full version, the link will be below. Okay, now we're starting with Vallejo Gloss Acrylic Varnish. We'll put down a very smooth, even coat on this model. The smoother you can get it without filling the recesses, the better. A smooth coat will equal uh, that multi-black being able to wick around those recesses using capillary action. You'll just set your brush down at the very edge of a recess and you'll watch the paint just kind of slide along. And that's what we're looking for here. Unfortunately, this model, due to the horrible preparation of it by the previous owner, isn't really a good example. I'm pretty much painting the multi-black into these recesses uh, manually. Many unbearable hours later. Now that the varnish is cured, you want to get out a liner brush and another brush that you can use for cleanup. I use these Dick Blick Masterclass Kolinsky brushes. They're about $5. Um, they're not a bad little brush. They're not great, but they're not bad either. And it doesn't matter if they get wrecked because they are so cheap. The blue handle brush is one from Amazon. It was a multi-pack of like 60 brushes for $8. Super duper cheap. Um, in this next step, we're going to be using Mr. Hobby Multi Black. It is an enamel wash and you combine it with solvent. Now the nice thing about it being enamel and the solvent being enamel based or for enamels is they do not interact with the acrylics below them including the varnish which means we can use the solvent to clean up any messes on the the wash without affecting the gloss underneath that's the whole point of this little process that we're doing here the observant among you may have noticed that there were three pots at the top of my work surface. Uh, one of them, the first one, is filled with multi-black that has been thinned with a little solvent already to thin it out some. The second one is solvent just for cleaning brushes. And the third one is solvent again to take a clean brush, get it just a little bit of clean solvent for cleanup on the armor itself. At several points during this next section of the video where I'm doing the panel lining, you'll notice me using my finger eraser or my fingertip to uh, wipe at the excess multi-black. And because of that gloss varnish, it wipes right off. Um, however, that multi-black does have some of the solvent in it. And after reading the solvent uh, label, you probably want to wear gloves while doing this. Um, Absorption through the skin is not recommended.
At this point, I'm breaking out the cheapo brush from Amazon and I'm dipping it in the clean solvent and I'm starting to clean up the lines. I kind of lay the, the brush across the ridge on the armor and the flat spot. So I'm feathering the edge of the wash a little bit, not directly wiping it out of the recess. Um, so it kind of just blends it in a little bit better. Uh, there are outright corrections, of course, but most of the time it's just that kind of feathering that I'm doing by laying it over the ridge and the flat spot where I'm wanting the wash to lay and sweeping the brush in that direction along that line. So there you have it, folks. The pictures of the finished models. One of the models has been fully matted. The other one we left with the gloss on the armor and just matted the accessories. Please don't forget to comment below which you prefer. Do you like the matted armor? Do you like the gloss armor? Thank you all for watching. I uh, would appreciate it if you would consider hitting that like and subscribe button. That would be great. I know everybody tells you to smash it. I'm not going to tell you to do that. But if you want to press it gently, gingerly, maybe caress it like you love it, that would be great.